So did you know that fractures in children are not as same as those in adults? Yes, and I am Dr. Chashnal Rathod, visiting consultant, pediatric orthosurgeon at the Children's Hospital, Malal. And yes, you heard me right. The fractures in children are just not same as adults. And let's understand why. First, because the baby bones are very soft. They are not hard and grown like us grown up. And hence, when they fracture, they don't break. Instead, they might buckle, which is called as torus, or they might be green stick fractures. As the name suggests, if you see the green sticks of the tree, they don't break, they just bend. So kids' bones also just bend, they don't break. And lastly, fractures through the growth plates. So we are grown and our growth plates are already fused and closed. But in children, they grow every day. And this growth occurs at the growth ends, the growth plates or the physis of the bones. And fracture through these growth plates can affect the growth in your child. So this is how the fractures are different in kids. So now what do you do if you suspect that your child has had a fall and he's not informed you but there is a pain or swelling or maybe the child is a small toddler and is just complaining of crying or not using the limb. The first thing is apply ice. Use a ice pack or just put the ice in a bag or a cloth and just apply at the affected part for a few minutes. Take a break, again apply. This can be done till the time you visit the closest hospital. Secondly, do not massage or do not rub or do not apply any ointment. Third, give rest to that part. If the child is complaining of any injury or pain, do not make the child walk. Instead, ask them to take rest. And yes, after you have done all of this first day, do visit your nearest hospital and seek an appointment of a pediatric orthosurgeon so that the fracture can be managed for the child in a better way. Thank you.